Four minutes and counting. Edward Waters is in the East. Really? They're in the East. T.U. Nope. Number eight. Number eight. Number eighty-nine is fifty, right? For Edward Waters. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources Inc. is our profit organization has empowered more than 50 years of youth and adults in the of fall and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Let's get back to strolling instead of scrolling. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts on COVID-19 vaccines. Visit GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision for yourself and for your fam. When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let 211 be your guiding light for mental health and other resources. Call 211 or visit 211.org. Good afternoon, everyone, from Cleveland L. Albert Memorial Stadium on the campus of Tuskegee University. I'm Frank Lee, along with Ken Woodard, as we get ready uh, for the Golden Tigers as we get into game number three against the Edward Water University Football Club out of Jacksonville, Florida. Ken Woodard. Out of Jacksonville, Florida. Amazing, Frank. Um, Edward Waters is a very historical school started by the African uh, Methodist Episcopal Church. And um, it's a very historic game, and it's good to see uh, guys get out here uh, making history, Frank. And um, it's going to be a game where we're going to make history, where we're going to finally win our first game. We're looking forward to that. And as usual, Frank, uh, Coach Powell, the defense is going to start off out there uh, um, pr protecting and getting that good field position and give our offense the uh, opportunity to make some plays. Torano Jones and Willie Slater meet for the first time after a hiatus on last year. Uh, Edward Waters, one and one on the 2021 season. Golden Tigers, 0 oh and 2. Edward Waters was victorious against Florida Memorial and they lost a bit uh, to Benedict, Ken. Yes, indeed. Uh, they were doing a good challenge. They, they, uh, they're struggling getting themselves established. And they, uh, Making some good plays in the B1-1 and one, coming into Tuskegee. They, uh, they got the work cut out for them. And we're really going to see some good football. You know what? Uh, like I say, um, this football, when you, when, you, when you go to Division II, people, guys is out there playing because they want to play. Not, it's not for fan. It, it, it's, it's for 
is for that uh, dedication that they have for the love for the game. Then also you got you got two historical schools that that want to build things in their history and their legacy. Edward Waters lost 24-20. Uh, they actually won 24-20 to Florida Memorial, lost 44-3 to Benedict. Golden Tigers are in for a afternoon of football and hoping for win number one as the Golden Tigers were defeated against the Fort Valley State Wildcats in the original Red Tails Classic 30-0 and lost last week to a West Alabama ball club, 33-7. to Ken Woodard, it's going to be an outstanding game as the Golden Tigers will kick it off against the Edward Waters Tigers. Yep, Frank, and you know, I'm looking forward to each, each week, though, even though we had lost, we 0-2 in there. You can see the progress. Coach Slater believes in his team. You know, the going for it for fourth and one on the down, that's getting the guys to stand up. And what we're going to see today is some leadership from on the field, not from the coaches. But Here's from the kick. On as Husket kicks it off. It's going to be taken around the 10, the 15, and he's going to be brought down around the fumble on the play. And it looks like the ball is going to be dead, kid. Yes, yes, it is. That, that's what I'm talking about. You know, you're setting it off with the tempo. Set that tempo off, and them guys come down to kick off. You know, I'm a special team kind of guy. That's the third in, um, input on, on the game. You got your offense, your defense, and your special team. And they have been known to win a lot of games, win a lot of championships, and being, being the turnover, the breaking point of winning and losing the game is the execution off special teams. Good job by them guys. Got about the 17 yards. Ken. King brings his Tigers first and 10 from the 17-yard line of the Edward Waters. Tigers, here's the first play of the ball game in the shotgun. The give is to the first man through. He gets it inside, and the ball bobbles out of his hand, but it's going to be dead. And Ken, he'll get it inside of the 18-yard line. We'll pick up about a yard on that play. Yeah, we, we got a good, Frank. We're going to mark it on the 20. Give him three. Give him three. That sounds good. Okay. It's not enough, but it, we got 14 and 15 in there, the, the twin brothers in there, linebackers, and we got Carl Matthews at strong safety. The defense is looking strong. Here's a play. Quinn gives it up to God oh, to yeah, the first baby. man through, and he gets it inside. He'll get it to the 20. They'll mark it around the 25-yard line, and Edward Waters. Early in the ball game, Ken is moving it swiftly up the field. Uh, well, they got to pay the play. I like that hit by, by Sean Cross. He's a red-shirted freshman out of there, number four. Came up from that free safety position and put put that wood on him. He's going to pay for that later on. Third and four. Here's the play. Smith has a man. That's going to be Malik Stevens, the ball carrier for Edward Waters, and it's going to be forcing the Tigers of Edward Waters to punt it off to the Golden Tigers. And, and that's that's one of the game plans that I think that the coaches over there with Golden Tigers is doing. Coach Powell got a good defense. He got good connection. He got motivation. Get that tempo going. They have three plays and out, and that's what you want. Get the offense a good field position. We got number three back there. He got some nice feet to him. We're going to see what he can do with this punt. Angel Sevier will be kicking it from his own 10-yard line. It's going to be it's going to take a bounce. Uh, it's going to be down around the 34, 35-yard line. It's going to be marked around the 34. And back to receive that punt was for the Golden Tigers. That was going to be Valson, and Valson was hit there, Ken. They didn't have possession of the ball, and... And, that's, and that, did, that is the call the referee. I think they may be, be speaking on that right now. But you, you can't stop the defender from um, getting the ball because he still could have had an opportunity to grab it, which wouldn't have been a good idea. But you can't take away that and just tackle the guy before he get a chance just, uh, for the ball to be whistled dead. As they say, Ken, there's a flag on the floor. There's a flag on the floor. And they're discussing it right now, Frank, what they're going to do with it. It's a um, uh, close call. But you, you, you got to give him room. You can't, you can't tackle the guy before the ball is whistle-blown there. Here's a, the officials are going to give us the call. Final return, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, kicking team. 15-yard penalty, 
There you go, baby. That's what that's what we're talking about. You know, uh, 15 execution. yards are going to be stepped off. Ken Woodard against the Edward Waters Tigers, and that's going to move the ball. Uh, it's going to put the Golden Tigers around the 48-yard line. Which is what what the guy what the offense wanted to do put Slater in a good position. You know he can go up top. He can go off the tackle. Golden Tigers in the trip set has a receiver in motion. Here's the play, play action. It's going to be inside the four. He's going to drive and he's going to pick up a first down and more. And the Golden Tigers started off Ken. I like the Tuskegee football team should. That's it. There you go. Let the big big red machine roll, baby. That's what we're talking about. Bryson did a good job. You know, he lost the ball a couple of times last week. But he, he held that ball. He spinned off and made a couple of – got some extra yardage in there. But I noticed how he, Frank, he tucked that ball in, put both hands around that ball when he started making contact. Quarterback Bryson. Good heads up play. Bryson uh, Will Williams has the ball inside of the 36-yard line. Has his tight end in motion. Gives it to Tyrion Taylor. And Tara blinks through and picks up another Golden Tiger first down. Kid Woodard, move the chain. Move the chain. Tyrion Taylor, he, he, he's a guy that's really hungry for that real estate. He can eat that real estate up real quick. His feet is quick. He got some good steps. He slices and dice. Kind of mind you of a guy like Marcus Allen. It can be just a little gap. He get in there and make make the yardage that he can make. 11:56 first quarter action. First down and ten. Ball is on the 25 yard line of Edward Waters. Here's Bryson Williams. Williams in the shotgun. Williams gives it. Gives it again to Tyrion Taylor. And Taylor gets inside. He'll be brought down around the 21-yard line. Give him about three, four yards on that play, Ken. Yeah? That was a good job. We got to get a better block by my big boy, Goodlow. Goodlow was that lead back. He's, and he's been known, Frank, for over the years to uh, be a good lead blocker. Uh, he tried to get that cut block on him. Didn't give Terry on Taylor that corner to take. But uh, it was some yardage on there that was good. But uh, Goodlow is a guy we, we'll be seeing again out there, especially inside the 20. Bryson Williams in the trip set has this in the shotgun. Williams on a long count. Gives it around to the left side. There goes the play, and it's going to be uh, number six, the ball carrier for the Golden Tigers. That's going to be uh, uh, Kedrick Green, and Green is going to be pushed out of bounds around the 10 yard line kid there you go i, I like it a well oil machine the guys going out there and execution. move the chains another move the down. Chains. execution uh you got that connection that com camaraderie out there and the guys is working together in the sink and that front line is doing a good job up front. williams has receivers either side taylor in the backfield in the shotgun it's bryson williams in the shotgun williams gives it to tarion taylor and Taylor moves it down. He'll get it down to the three. It's going to be an eight-yard gainer for the Golden Tigers. Hey, Frank, the best way to get that real estate is go north to south, baby. And he's going straight north and south. That's all it is. And uh, the, the, the lineman's up front is making contact, and he's able to get through that line and get back in that secondary real quick, expeditiously. And like Second and go. Twin tight end set for the Golden Tigers. Bryson Williams has Taylor. Along with Goodlow in the backfield. Here's Tyler on. Taylor gets it in. He'll be brought down around the one, Ken. Yes, that's that's good. Uh, just just straight heads up football. Inside the trenches, uh, trying to make it play. Keeping the ball safe. You're in good position. Um, great play calling. We, we done ran left. We done ran right. We did reverse. Um, I, I love the way they're mixing it up. They done did trips. They done did tight. They done did two tight ends. You know, now we're seeing a we're seeing a elevated team, which which is uh, Coach Slater is a winner, and he always get better. And these guys is, is showing it right now. Tarion Taylor is a little uh, shows to be injured on that play. Let's take a break. Let's pause on the Golden Tiger Digital Network. When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let two one one be your guiding light for mental health and other resources. Call 211 or visit 211.org.
We're back to live action at Cleveland L Memorial Stadium on the campus of Tuskegee University. Golden Tigers have it third and goal. Everybody's in under center. Here's a play up the gut. Touchdown. Golden Tigers. Golden Tigers. Ken Woodard strike on that particular play. And that's going to be Avante Patterson will go in for the Tuskegee Six. With nine minutes and 16 seconds, go right ahead. Uh, Ken is having problems. Let's work with Ken's mic over here, Ken. Here's a PAT. Hussick will attempt a PAT for the Golden Tigers. It's up, and he kicks it. It's good. It's, we have a 7 nothing ball game here at Cleveland L. Albert Memorial Stadium. Let's pause on the Tuskegee Digital Network. I can't. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. Check one two. Check one two. So actually, if I touch this mic, I got problems. If I if I move this. Yeah. So I, don't worry, I won't touch it again. University with nine minutes and 16 seconds in the first quarter. Golden Tigers have struck first. We have a seven nothing ball game as Hussick will kick it off to the Edward Waters Tigers and that's going to be August. It's going to be on the kickoff return. August is going to be brought down. He takes it on a spin <laughs> around the 32 yard line and that Kickoff return was brought down on the 32-yard line. Uh, Edward Waters will have it. Ken Woodard, first and 10 hey. from their own 32. Now, this is the process of where we're thinking that we're 0-2 and we got to do some things to make some plays happen. you got your kicker, Ernest Husick, 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 uh 36. He come down and give that guy an extra, extra little punch out down the field. And generally, kickers are not known for hitting them on... Uh, Re, uh, running backs or return men, but I, I like I like that mentality, that toughness, great toughness, great extra effort. Zedquan Smith has his uh, Edward Waters Tigers lined up, and there's some discussion among the officials around the 40-yard line. First and ten for Edward Waters. It's going to be on the 31-yard line of the Tigers from Jacksonville. 909 first quarter action. Frank Lee along with Ken Woodard as the Golden Tigers out front. Seven nothing in the contest, Ken. Have you been able to determine what that discussion is about? No, it looks like it's against the defense. They're, uh, they must have had some lightning going on. Uh, they, oh, okay. They're going off the field there. You know, we well, can play in the rain, we can play in the snow, but when that lightning, we got to go. <laughs> well, it looks like the uh, both teams are going to go to the locker room for safety purposes with 909 this is the first delay that we've seen for lightning uh this year and it's the first delay we've seen for in quite a few years Frank. Quite, quite a few, a few years, few years I can't yes. remember us pausing for environmental conditions as we are now with 909 in the first quarter we got a lightning a warning here uh seven nothing ball game go right ahead kid did okay. you have an announcement for us, Ken? We got an announcement for you today. Uh, good morning out there, um, our fans here. Good, we'd like to announce um, that there will be a vaccination clinic on Wednesday, September 29th from 3 to 5 p.m. at the Sojourner Apartments located on 216, the Overture Circle, Tuskegee, Alabama. No insurance is required. Part 
participants will need a pitch ID. This clinic is for the first or second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna will be available. No testing will be done at this event. Please look for additional information in the next week edition of the Tuskegee News. This project is a joint effort between TU, the Tuskegee University Cooperative Extension Program, RIM Health and Wellness, and the Alabama Department of Public and Health. And as, as we out here, Frank, um, as we've been cautious and safety because of lightning coming out here, Frank, this is a good time. If you have questions, you can still come out there and get your questions answered if you don't want to take the test and see it, um, see if you feel comfortable with the benefits of taking your first or se second dose of Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine. Quite a great oh, effort by a yes. great mitigation effort here in Tuskegee at Sojourner. A great uh, uh, combination of help there between Tuskegee University and local, the local medical uh, community in Macon County. Well, we're going to take a break. Uh, we have a lightning warning here at Cleveland L. Albert Memorial Stadium on the campus of Tuskegee University with 9.09 in the first quarter. Tuskegee University 7, Edward Waters University 0. Let's pause.